All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead end job and followed that stench of possibility. I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission for grump's sake. What do I think of? Delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby. Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Bethika planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary. So I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest Grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisburn after that. found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. I clearly said 50. Doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. <sighs> Something's wrong, buddy. Africa, Ramble, what happened? We saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a Grumpus at first, but like something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it, <laughs> until it. It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and like scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Nah, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, 
I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking in the huts? Again? Uh, I've seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't. Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths. Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets. You say that again. Oh, get off me. Stop. Whoa, hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, there's got to be some physical evidence left behind. Yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Well, w w what did you find? Well, that's, um, I, I reckon there's gotta be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo, we got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm, monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a warning! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door, or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the grump and our- What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. Oh, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. Y you don't know that. She might come back. Yeah, don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you. That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but I do know this. 
None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbert, but we have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. <sighs> I guess you're not wrong. So we're all staying in town then? Seems like it. As long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and, and who knows if they're safe. If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time I saw Shelda, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbert, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Okay. Great! Now, let's go get some sleep. Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a bebop cord. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? Uh, I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, maybe... I'll gain their strength! Hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wamby. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Trivi, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. Oh, 
Okay. Here. It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. You. you know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter. The one Liz was always talking about. I, I didn't think you'd really come out here. No. Not until I find Liz. We. We were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake, and we got separated. If 
If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blunt force trauma, you'll asphyxiate. I can handle it. I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. I'm surviving. Just go back home, okay? Be safe, and please, don't tell anybody I'm up here. this out. Just think like Liz. Ah! Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you. Well, it's a big mysterious door and I want to open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I've almost got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. <laughs>
just saying, uh, maybe. Uh, your whole premise is flawed from the get-go. If bug snacks aren't like plants, then no amount of elbow grease is gonna make this work. Triffy, I thought you were here to support me. Oh, uh, I am. It, it's just, um, you keep trying this over and over, and one of these days you gotta pack it in. <sighs> so I'm on my own. Well, if that's how you choose to look at it. Oh, not too bad. I dug up this journal out in the canyon. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. Wimpone! Sure is a nice day, isn't it? took your precious time getting here. Any longer and my leg might have rotted away. Come, let's finish our work. My experiment cost an arm and a leg and nobody else was offering. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now assist me or be gone with you. Ah, always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now, simply transform my arm into a red banapa. <laughs> Thank you. 
another. But for now, simply. One more thing I must do. Hand me the Snacktivator. The old Snacktivator was worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. Ugh. My body remembers what I eat. The Snacktivator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use it. Change my arm from Bonapra to Strabby. <laughs> Are you amazed? You've seen nothing yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snacktivator on my missing leg. Aha! My leg is back. Bug snacks can cure the sick, revitalize the frail. This discovery will reshape the world. To think Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> but I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the Snacktivator again. Transform my limbs into Cocomites. Oh, 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 oh,